Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try these uh, Benihana, the Japanese steakhouse. This is the Yakisoba chicken. And it is Japanese style noodles with white meat chicken, grilled onions, zucchini, carrots, and bell peppers in a Yakisoba sauce. I don't know if that's how you say it, but it's good enough for me. Um, we bought these at Kroger. They were $4.49 um, each. Not too bad, I don't think. It's, it's a pretty decent sized meal. Kroger is the only place I've ever seen this uh, Benihana meals. Doesn't mean they don't have it other places, it's just the only place we've personally seen it at. Uh, 420 calories for the entire box, the, the entire bowl, back, package, whatever, however it's packaged. Uh, let's see, cooking direction, there's the, you know, Benihana is a restaurant, so this is saying it's just uh, restaurant quality in, the, in a frozen dinner. So we're going to remove the tray from the outer card in this cardboard box, pull back a corner to vent, cook for 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Um, stir, make sure the sauce fully covers the noodles, replace the film, and then cook on high for another 45 seconds. So, and then let it sit for a minute or two before you're uh, ready to go. Um, and be careful because it's going to be hot, basically. Yeah. So, two and a half, stir, recover, and then 45. There was a pull tab on the other side, by the way, just to let you know. I didn't do it. Um, there's a little... There's a little puck of the noodles, a little hockey puck looking round thing of noodles. And here's all your other stuff kind of around the edges. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty good sized bowl. Um, it is 10 ounces, so that's not bad. So I'm going to vent this probably. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to vent this right here. And you can see the chicken and stuff in there. Uh, get it in the microwave, and uh, I'll be back when it comes out. Okay, here it is uh, right out of the microwave. And uh, it dried out quite a bit. The, the first time I stirred up, you know, after that first two and a half minutes, the, the noodles were very, very um, wet. And um, there was a lot more sauce kind of in the bottom. Um, I think most of that's went away. There's some sauce here and there, but um, definitely dried out some. So, I mean, it's not a bad thing. I'm just saying that that's, the, that's just the case of what it is. So, um, you get quite a bit of chicken in there. I mean, there's chicken all around in there. I'm trying to get this stuff kind of mixed in with the noodles, but the noodles are kind of, kind of one big clump. So uh, anyway, um, when I take a bite, I'll separate it all out. So I'm going to let this cool off a bit because you're supposed to let it set for a minute or two anyway. So I'm going to let it set for a minute, cool off a bit, and I'll be back. Okay, you can't see it, but there's chicken, there's uh, zucchini, there's carrots, there's pepper, and uh, I say chicken, and uh, noodles, of course, on this. Uh, there's everything I could see in this bowl, at least, and there's a lot of noodles. So there we go. Those noodles dried out quite a bit. Um, it surprised me because I had one of these before. Uh, it was the steak one. And the noodles weren't this dry and, and sticky. Um, if you've ever had, they remind me of spaghetti noodles. That's probably mm. insulting to um, the Japanese restaurants, but or the Japanese people even. But these, um, they remind me of spaghetti noodles a little bit. Um, just like pieces of spaghetti. Not only the shape, but just the texture and... Um, Stuff like that. Not necessarily the flavor, just the texture. But anyway, it reminds me of spaghetti noodles. If you've ever had, you cook your spaghetti noodles, you cook your spaghetti, you drain it off, and you put it back in the pan, but you don't mix sauce with it. Because I know um, nowadays we actually mix our sauce in with our spaghetti, so it's all mixed together in the pan. But back a long time ago, we would drain our spaghetti off and just uh, leave it in the pan and get our spaghetti out later on. If we wanted seconds, we'd get our spaghetti out later on and then put more sauce on it. This reminds me of the, the texture you would get after that spaghetti set for just a little while. And uh, after you strained it and you didn't put any butter or anything like that in it, it's kind of, uh, you get that dry, sticky like spaghetti. That's what this texture reminds me of. And that's, that was a long explanation for something fairly simple, but um, that's that's what it reminds me of. The uh, The flavors are really good. It's, um, it's almost like a sesame kind of flavor. You get that um, almost like a, a sesame seed oil kind of flavor. Um, it's not spicy at all by any means. Yeah, it's like a, a like a sesame um, sauce. The zucchini is cooked really well. They're good. They're still got a little crisp to them, but they're soft. Tender but crispy. Doesn't make any sense, but that's what they are. Um, 
yeah, really, I like the flavors. My only complaint is the noodles dried out a little bit. So um, maybe if I, I don't know what I could have done because um, I guess I could have taken it out uh, right after that first two and a half minutes and not put them in the additional 45 seconds because like I said, um, there was a lot more like sauce, like juice, um, and the noodles were a lot uh, wetter when I first stirred them up after two and a half minutes, but I'm just following the directions in the box. That's what they say to do. That's how I'm doing them. Um, but beyond that, it, it's got a good flavor to it. Like I said, it's not knock your socks off flavor, but the chicken's good and tender. The vegetables are really good. You don't get that many carrots. So if you don't like carrots, you could probably just avoid them. I think I could see like six or seven probably all together. Uh, decent amount of chicken, decent amount of noodles. Um, you're probably going to be hungry again in a little while because it's just not a lot of food. It's all noodles. And um, noodles fill you up for a little while, but they don't usually last. They're, at least for me, they don't stay with me very much. So the really the hearty foods like the chicken and stuff, you get some, but you don't get tons of it. So um, you might want to eat a little snack after this, like a yogurt or a, an orange or an apple or something like that. But overall, pretty good. I'm going to give it a four. Um, I like it. I like the steak one better. The steak one has a much better flavor to it, and it seemed to be a lot more moist. Uh, than this one and maybe that's because the steak um, generates more grease or oils in it that the chicken just doesn't have so that could be the case so yeah I'm gonna give this one a four I think I gave the steak one a four and a half uh, but anyway I would buy the steak one over the chicken but if you don't like steak try the chicken one out uh, maybe if it's looks plenty uh, if it's plenty hot enough and you still got some moisture in it at two and a half minutes don't put it in for the full 45 maybe you do it for um, 30 seconds or something like that so anyway yeah I'm gonna stick with a four hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching